Welcome back to DZNR Studios and in this video I will be showing how to create a realistic 3D UD mockup, 360 animation and a work animation for your UD design in Blender. Before we get into the video, I would like to announce that we will be giving away a Jogger's mockup to 10 different people. Rules to the giveaway will be pinned in the comment section. To make the mockup, I will be using Blender, so make sure to download and install Blender onto your computer. And don't forget to download the mockup template from our website, link will be in the description. A quick navigation tips for newbies is use the middle scroll to zoom in and out and hold the middle scroll and move around to rotate. So that's just a quick navigation tips. Before we start adding graphics onto the UD, first come to the top right corner and click the viewport shading. When you click the viewport, uh, the rendered viewport shading, you will see the UD in a rendered preview. To start adding your graphics, go to the mockup folder and open up the Photoshop document. Once you open the Photoshop document, the first thing you want to do is disable the pattern info and now you can start adding your graphics onto the pattern. And in case you get confused, you can always enable the pattern info to see what you're working with. Now to add your graphics, all you need to do is just drag and drop your graphics onto the pattern. Now select all the graphics you added and move them into the graphics folder. And once you've done that, we can now change the colors of the UDI. Now to change the colors of the UDI, disable the add color layer and select the base layer. Once you have the base layer selected, come to the tip uh, to the left side and choose the color in which you would like to change the UDI. Once you've selected your preferred colors, use the paint bucket tool and start painting on your UDI. And make sure to paint it a few times. Now once you've painted the UDI to the color of your choice, save the document, save the Photoshop document and head back into Blender. Now when you head back into Blender, you would notice your design is reflected. Now if you see small thread, uh, light threads like this, you can always go back to Photoshop and just make sure to paint it a few times more. And don't forget to save. And you would notice in Blender, the issue will be corrected as seen.
Now, once you've added your design and you like it, let's render. To render your mock-up, come to the top right corner and enable the mock-up cameras. Now, there are five cameras in total. To activate any camera of your choice, press the green camera icon. And to see what they look like, press zero on the keyboard. So this is the front camera, the back camera, and the side cameras. So to render your mock-up, make sure you have the camera of your choice activated and come to the render properties. In the render properties, make sure Cycles is the preferred render engine and also you have your GPU selected. And also come down to the output properties. Under the output properties, you want to select the folder in which you would like to render your mockups and also you would like uh, you need to set the file format so now if you're rendering with png make sure you have uh, rgba on when you're rendering without a background and if you're rendering with a background make sure to select rgb now once you have all this selected that's all the settings you need to render your mockup and you can press f12 to render and it will make your mock-up picture now to make the 360 animation make sure to have the 360 camera selected to see a preview of what this look like I'll go to solid mode real quick and just play the animation and this is what the 360 animation look like. So I'll go back into render preview real quick and to render your 360 animation, come back into the output properties, change the file format from PNG to FF MPEG video. Now, under the encoding, make sure to change Matroska to MPEG-4. And also you can do some like select the quality you would like to use. Now, once you have all this selected, you can go ahead to render your animation. And to do that, you need to press Ctrl F12. To render your mockups is F12. To render the animation is Control F12. And a few more things I would like to add to this video is if you would like to render your mockup with background, the scene also comes with a background dome and you can select the background dome and you can change the color of the background dome so so yeah i can change the color to any color of my choice really so once you, once you select your color and you're good now you can press zero again on the keyboard and select the camera you would like to render and yet yeah, you would notice the back camera is empty now to fix this uh enable the dome cover once you enable the dome cover the whole thing will be covered in you know So now you can render your mockups with the background and yeah that's all i have for this video and uh let me know what you would like to see in the next video